What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. Today I've got a subscriber story that was sent in to you about somebody that apparently wants to take away all of gamers rights. It's just a, a crazy situation. Regardless, I figured y'all would enjoy it. So before we get into the story, be sure to press the like button. Otherwise, no joke, no scam. Santa Claus isn't going to bring you presents this year. That's right. It's December. He's definitely watching. So press the like button and without further ado, let's go. Nice rack in our ass Brazilian just turned 21. All right, like I said, this was a subscriber story that was sent in to me, and this particular subscriber had a summer job where they were working at a summer camp, you know, and it just so happened that he was a gamer. He was not running around telling everyone in, like, the summer camp that he played video games, because that would be a little bit embarrassing, you know? It's not like he was like, hello, my name is Jim, and I like to video game. No, he just happened to be into that and worked at this place, and so, whatever, he would interact with a lot of his co-workers often, he was like a camp counselor, kind of in charge of uh, making sure people didn't kill each other or whatever. So he would interact with a lot of the other camp counselors often, and you know, obviously when you talk to people a while, you work with them, you start to kind of learn what they're into. So some people kind of knew that he had a gaming PC, played games, whatever. He didn't talk about it a lot, but there was one co-worker that he had, one counselor, that was like obsessed, obsessed with arguing about stuff. You know, it didn't matter what it was, it could be politics, dude, it could be like, I it could be the, the fact that the sky is blue, but to him it's actually not. It's a translation, translucent beige or whatever. You name it, he just wanted to argue about it. And he was one of the, like, worst people to work with because you just knew that you were going to spend the next eight hours arguing about literally everything, no matter what came out of your mouth. Like, one time he said, oh yeah, like, Disney owns Mickey Mouse or whatever, and this guy went on this 30-minute rant about how he's an idiot for saying that, because apparently Steamboat Willie goes into public domain next year, and everybody should know that, so Disney really doesn't own all of Mickey Mouse anymore, and da-da-da-da-da, and he's like, okay, bro, I just said Disney owns Mickey Mouse, like, I didn't, I didn't really, like, need all this. And even then, bro, it's like, we're at a summer camp, man. We're, we're camp counselors, all right? If you want to go, like, argue with everybody, then go to debate camp. But I'm not really here to be, like, arguing with some dude about the minutia of everything. Especially because it's a summer camp, man. Like, how do you expect me to have a serious debate about anything if, like, I'm sitting here watching people make macaroni necklaces? The possibility of me to take anything seriously is at zero. Anyways, one day, him and all the other camp counselors are, like, sitting in this room waiting for their group of kids to get back from, like, wherever their field trip was that day. You know, not all the counselors would go, so they kind of got, like, a pretty chill day to just hang out. And obviously, when you're just kind of hanging out with a bunch of people, you just start to talk just kind of about whatever's going on, the weather, small talk, all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, as everybody's talking, there's a little bit of the weather, there's a little bit of sports, there's a little bit of, like, just normal conversation that you're supposed to talk about. And then, of course, the kid shows up that just loves to argue about everything, and he's like, all right, guys, I feel like this conversation's kind of moving in a boring direction, so I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. So, I'm gonna ask everyone, and I'm making everybody answer, what is your most controversial political opinion and obviously nobody answers that because listen dude you're at work it's just not the time to be asking people for that one and it's just also not the time to be talking about that too like you're sitting next to all these co-workers you know it's just not the time to be spouting off about that stuff and on top of it it's just like a really boring thing to talk about like it's just never gonna end well I've never heard a group of people that don't know each other that well go man I sure am glad we talked about our most controversial opinions I think the most of you now so so everybody just kind of sits there and stares at him. Nobody engages because they just understand that that's probably not a good idea. And so he's kind of annoyed that nobody answers his questions. So he's like, well, fine. If you guys are too afraid to answer it, then I'll go first. And literally nobody is excited to hear this, but whatever. He just launches into this rant that everyone's kind of forced to listen to because he's just talking very loudly about how, like, gaming has destroyed the American intellect. It used to be that people would discuss very smart things around the dinner table, and now all everyone wants to talk about is Fortnite. And I think that this is going to continue to destroy society. Like, the fact that video games are seen as a positive force when in reality they just make people stupid is beyond me. So my controversial opinion is that I would ban all video games. I would simply outlaw them. I think it's a, a degradant to society. 
and he's just going on and on about how video games make people stupid, you know, like how they're just absolute idiots and the world would be better off with it banned. And it's just like an unusual amount of hatred towards something as like unthreatening as video games, right? But obviously it gets the subscriber's attention and he just decides to kind of like ask him how it's destroyed society, right? Because anyone can sit there for 45 seconds and just say something sucks a lot, but like how has it made people stupid? And so, you know, it's just a simple question. How does gaming destroy society? Because listen, I think we can all agree that like society's got some issues right now, but I don't necessarily think it's exclusively gaming's fault. Like, okay, maybe gaming does have some issues. Maybe people are spending too much time inside or whatever. But I feel like it's a little bit unfair to be like, if America collapses tomorrow, it's that damn Call of Duty. You know, it's just a stupid question. So he does ask the kid like, how is that even possible? And he launches into this other time irate about how like so many kids today are stupid they're so stupid they have no problem solving ability and it's because of video games their corrupt ability to turn you into a sluggish zombie and like, you know, I, I'm not even saying that kids today aren't a little bit lazier, okay? Like, I feel like our generation is, is a little bit lazier than like people that had to work in sweatshops. Yeah, because they had to go do that stuff when they were eight. But on top of that, man, I just don't really know if this is video games fault that you feel like people don't have problem solving. If anything, I feel like a majority of video games are kind of like based around solving problems in the first place. But whatever, he's just ranting about how like it's all video games fault that kids are stupid these days. And you know, it's it's the society's gonna fall apart and it's all because of video games and like I said I don't feel like it's fair to say every kid is stupid like on average is the TikTok generation a little dumber uh, I wouldn't even say that. I feel like the dumber people have gotten dumber, that's for sure. Like, the bottom 5% continuously just gets dumber, you know? But I feel like that's more the fault of, like, bad parents and, like, school not teaching people what they should be taught more than it is exclusively video games' fault. I mean, there's a bunch of kids out there that are definitely smarter than can be because of the internet having access to information, all that good stuff, right? But I feel like on top of that, obviously you might not have the best problems solving you might not be the smartest kid in the world because there's an entire generation of kids not all of them but like there is a definitely a couple thousand kids out there that were literally raised by an ipad just watching whatever the youtube algorithm fed them yeah okay those kids definitely might be a little bit dumber but i feel like it's unfair to just be like it's all video games making everyone dumb because i just i don't know i don't feel like any generation everyone is more stupid and even then i feel like kids are gonna be dumber to whatever generation is older than them forever this has been going on forever. There's like one quote about a guy in the medieval ages being like, kids read too many books today and it's rotting their brain. Like, you know, I just feel like younger generations never make sense to the older ones, not just because they touched Fortnite. Like, oh yeah, other generations were really dope, but these kids got gaming and uh, everything fell apart. So whatever, he kind of says that, something along the lines of like, you know, these kids have issues, sure, but like it's not exclusively video games fault and it's not every kid. Like, you're kind of generally generalizing here by saying this is everyone's issue and he gets all mad at him and he's like well clearly you are a gamer and it appears that I struck a nerve <laughs> and he like pushes his glasses up homie is in full anime character loadout mode right now trying to do the absolute most well if you love gaming so much then tell me how does gaming benefit society what does it add to society hmm do you have an answer for that and obviously the subscriber really doesn't like have a, a prepared answer for that because he didn't realize that he was gonna have to be like defending video games and how they should be allowed in society like when he showed up to work today and on top of that like I, I don't know bro it's just kind of whatever whatever like it's just it's it's a fair question if you're like in a debate but you're just at work sitting here dude like you're just asking people to have all these prepared arguments it's silly but whatever he's like I just don't agree with banning it I'm not saying it's the best thing to happen to society but I just feel like banning it and saying that every one of our problems is gonna get fixed is a little bit silly too and then he kind of is like I'm sure there's some benefits there's the jobs there's like you know the fact that I'm sure some people find it entertaining he's like he doesn't really know what to say to this but he's like I'm sure not everything about it is horrible and bad and just sucks the fun out of everything 
Well, you see, that's the problem. You don't have an answer to me when I ask you how they benefit society because you're so focused on video games that you're not thinking about these issues. I don't do anything that doesn't benefit society, ever. Like, I don't have fun hobbies. Unless it benefits me or society, I don't do it. Which is kind of just, I mean, hey, man, good for you. Good for you for benefiting society. But I feel like it's okay to have some hobbies that maybe you just like. Like, not everything everybody does has to have some big, deep, elaborate reason that's gonna change the world. Aren't you allowed to just, like, like to play Sly Cooper? When I'm playing a video game, I don't think I'm changing the planet. That's all right. Like, I'm just trying to play some video games. And the subscriber kind of hits him with something. He's like, listen, man, I just think there's a lot more pressing issues at play. Even if you think I'm an idiot because I play video games, like, what? Okay, tomorrow, video games are banned. It doesn't change any of the actual issues we have that are way more important and way more threatening. Like, if tomorrow you banned video games outright, no more kids allowed to play Call of Duty, Valorant gets deleted from the human memory, y you know, global warming still happening like North Korea still exists I just don't really understand how gaming is the most important problem in like the world to you and at that point some of his co-workers join in and are like yeah dude you're just kind of being annoying like it seems like you're being really nitpicky nobody here even wants to have this discussion like there's a reason that you had to start the discussion and say yours first because nobody else wants to be talking about this like if anything you're just kind of making us all uncomfortable because nobody wants to be talking ab about this especially at work like it's just probably the worst possible place to have this discussion and instead of being like ah oh, man okay I'm being a little bit annoying all of my co-workers think I suck right now he's like well then maybe banning them wouldn't be enough you know maybe I just need to take things a little bit further than that because look at you heathens frothing at the mouth for your video games and everybody in the room's just getting confused they're like frothing at the mouths bro like we're just telling you it's annoying that you bring this up and argue with us all the time and he's like no you guys are mad because I said that I want to ban video games so maybe that's just not enough maybe a ban isn't enough to save society because look at how addicted you guys are you're arguing with me when I I'm just trying to do what's best for you. And now he's like trying to do the hero play. Like, I'm just trying to save you guys. Wah, wah, wah. And so everybody kind of bites the bait. They're like, all right, well, what else would you do then? If, you know, clearly we're just zombies frothing at the mouth over the idea of not being able to play our darn pixel machine. Like, we are literally going to become zombies, start taking chunks of flesh off people, unless you don't ban video games. So what else is your plan? What else can you do? And he just starts to go on this rant, bro. He's like, we need a registry of everybody that plays video games over eight hours a week. And we need to take away their health care they don't need to be able to vote we just need to basically make sure that these gamers can't contribute to society because if you're going to choose video games over society then you just shouldn't be able to partake in it whatsoever and everybody kind of looks at him like he's nuts because that's just nuts right they're like you want to get rid of the right to vote and health care for everybody that plays video games that's kind of nuts, man. Like, you know, if you hate video games, you think they suck to society, you think they'd be better off banning them, that's all you. The second you start being like, they suck so much to society that we shouldn't let them be a part of it, bro. I think everybody just kind of is not on your side for, like, any group. That That's literally, like, not cool. That's the the, the best way I could describe that, man. Like, what? what? You just want to, like, make sure that no one that plays video games can be a part of society? Uh, what? And then he's like, yeah, I just think that that's probably the best way to handle it. Because like I said, if you don't want to help society at all, like if you don't want to do what it takes to make sure that society is functioning better and taking step forward, then I don't think you deserve to benefit from anything society has to offer. And the subscriber at that point is like, all right, man. So you just want to take away all the rights from everyone that's ever played Wii Sports. Like you're nuts. And here's the thing, man. I just don't really understand his point whatsoever. Because I feel like you could take this like, oh, this hobby doesn't help society and apply it to literally any hobby. You know, like, okay, if you play tennis, is it really helping the world? Is it helping society? I mean, not really. Like, sure, you're getting exercise, you're playing tennis. It's not really doing anything, though. Because your hobbies don't have to do something. Like, what you do in your free time when you're just trying to relax and unwind doesn't have to be like, you know, 
know, it, I go to the beach and pick up trash in my free time. Like, listen, I'm not saying helping people is bad. You should help people. Charity is a good thing. But like, not everything you do has to have some super deep, profound explanation. This guy's argument could apply to any hobby. If you've ever spent time fishing, <gasps> you're catching fish and not helping fix a broken road. Uh, we have to ban fishing. People that fish shouldn't be allowed to vote because they would rather catch fish than fix a broken road. It's like, no, bro. Obviously, people would rather have the road fixed. It's just free time still exists, dude. Even if like society has issues, you still got to do stuff to fill free time. All right, guys, I'm going to interrupt the video for just one second. If you take a look at your screen, you'll see a gift card code. For those of you that don't know, I give one of these away in every video. So subscribe and turn on notifications because I literally give away free money. And well, I've got you guys for a second. Be sure to press the like button. Otherwise, no joke, no scam. Your mom's a hoe. And let's get back to the video. Thanks. Anyways, at that point, everyone just decides to not talk to him at all. They're like, okay, if you want to arrest everyone that's ever played Wii Sports before, you're just nuts. So they literally just start to ignore him. It's almost like an unspoken agreement that they're just going to not react to whatever he's saying and just literally try to get them to leave him, like, leave him alone. They're like, okay, just leave, dude. No one wants you around anymore. But, you know, he's just kind of ranting to himself, and when he realizes that he's being ignored, it, like, makes him angrier, you know? And he just keeps saying more and more stuff he's like yeah and I think that if you've ever even bought a console before then like you're you're a part of the people that are responsible for society breaking down too so I think the parents that buy the game consoles also shouldn't be able to have any rights and like no one's reacting right it's just not working because they know they're like this kid's just trying to say stuff to get us pissed off and so he literally like moves to stand in front of them and just keeps you know going like ah well what about this and what about this and what about that and he keeps moving in front of them and they're trying to look away and he keeps moving with their head like as they're moving left he's moving with them and finally the subscriber is like dude okay we get it we get it you hate anything more than anyone you hate stuff that's fun you hate stuff that like doesn't contribute to society in any way we get it can you relax like can you please relax nobody cares what do you mean I hate everything fun you guys think that contributing to society isn't fun there's no way that you guys can actually listen to what I said today and think that I hate fun. And he's like, bro, you literally told us that you want to send everyone that played Wii Sports to the Gulag, and you think that we think you like to have fun? Like, you you are an absolute nutter if you think that it's normal to want to send people that play video games to jail. Like, what are you talking about? What do you mean? What's wrong with that? I'm sorry that I want society to move forward and I want things to get better. I'm sorry that I don't just want things to become the metaverse where Mark Zuckerberg owns everything. I didn't realize that that made me a super villain. And he's like, no, it didn't make you a super villain, bro. It's just, you're just kind of crazy. Your hatred of Nintendo is just like a little bit irrational, man. I just think you got to calm down. Like, listen, I'm not even going to sit here and say video games have been the best thing ever invented. I personally like them. You know, there's a reason there's gameplay in the background of all my videos. I like to play video games. But, you know, it doesn't matter what you were saying in this idea. If you ever said, like, yeah, everybody that plays tennis no longer is allowed to be in society. I just don't like that. I think having people separated for society for something that they like or, like, something that they are is stupid. You know, like, at, at a certain point, you know... You can't just, like, say that if you don't like tennis that they're going to jail. Like, oh, I don't like basketball. If you've ever touched a basketball, you can't pick the president. Like, what are you talking about, bro? What do you mean? And anyways, one of the other co-workers at that point is like, if winning the argument is worth making all your co-workers hate you, then like, keep going. You're doing a fantastic job, right? Like, if, if you, this is what you want for everyone to just think you're annoying and not want to talk to you anymore, then you're doing a great job. Continue down this path. And he's like, you guys can't hate me. You guys can't hate me. That's unfair. I'm going to tell on you if you guys hate me. And they're like, well, we can feel however we want. If we feel like you're just kind of annoying and trying to ruin our day because you just like getting a rise out of us, then we're not going to like working with you. Like, that just makes sense, dude. I'm sorry. It's unfair. You guys aren't allowed to hate me. You aren't allowed to. And they're like, well, we can kind of do whatever we want, man. You just kind of suck, right? 
And at that point, they just realize he's not going to stop arguing with them because he starts screaming at them about how, like, it's unfair if they hate him because of this and blah, 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 blah. So they just all start walking out of the room at that point. They're like, I'm not even going to sit here and listen to this. And he's still in there screaming as they're walking out of the room. Nobody stays, though. And they decide that they're not going to snitch on him. They just are like, whatever. We don't want to be responsible for getting somebody fired. We'll just kind of deal with him being annoying. It was almost the end of the season, so, like, they weren't going to have to work a whole lot anyway. So they just decided that they were going to deal with it, right? But everybody that was in that room that day gets called into the office at the end of the shift, right? And their boss is sitting there, and he does not look too happy. He doesn't look like he's just received any good information of the sorts. And he's like, why are you guys bullying your co-workers? I can't believe that you guys would create a toxic work environment. I thought you guys were better than this. I'm really disappointed. Well, this kid had gone to the boss and told him that, like, they had all decided to gang up on him and bully him for absolutely no reason and that they were just trying to belittle him and make him feel stupid which is not what happened bro you just started going off about how like everyone that plays Wii Sports is a degenerate for no reason and then everyone was like ah you're just kind of weird and scream a lot so they kind of explained to the boss what happened and obviously the boss believes them because like there's a lot of them he made the mistake of trying to do the 1v like 15 approach and when 15 people are like yeah that's not what happened it's obvious that that's not what happened so the boss at that point is like all right well I've got to fire him now because if he's going to like be making all this up, making up these scenarios where he's being attacked by his co-workers, trying to get people fired, you know, then he's not a very good fit on the team and chances are no one's going to want to be on the team with them anymore. So at the end of the day, he tried to do the little one-two switcheroo and get everybody else in trouble. All he ended up doing was costing himself his own job in the process and like they really were not going to snitch on him. If he just would have shut up, he would have kept his job for the rest of the summer. This is probably like in his mind why he is justified to be a Karen. Like, you know how every superhero has an origin story? In this guy's mind, his co-workers bullied him for no reason because he was trying to explain why everyone who plays video games should be a felon. And he's like, and then they didn't like me anymore. And that's why every time I get to talk to a manager, I scream at them and belittle them as much as possible. Is this like the origin story for it? Regardless, I just really could not believe this story when it was sent to me. I thought it was nuts. I figured it would be something you guys enjoyed but that's gonna do it for the video so if you did enjoy it I would appreciate you taking a second to press the like button let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the video and if you really want to help me out I'll go ahead and put a link to the intro song down below along with a link to my podcast the scuffed cast or you could use code scrubby at the G Fuel checkout it's a great way to get a discount on G Fuel the best energy drink for gamers and it helps me out I'd really appreciate it and last but certainly not least I got two more things I want to shout out first things first you can check out my Storytime Spotify. I put a bunch of my story times up on Spotify so you guys can listen to them offline without gameplay, whatever you prefer. I'll make sure that link's in the description. Be sure to check it out. And of course, we got the Karen Christmas sweater. My goodness, how could you be in the Christmas spirit without the coolest Christmas sweater to ever exist? This link's gonna be at the top of the description. Be sure to check it out. I would appreciate it. And uh, yeah, on that note, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Like, comment, subscribe. As I said, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot, and hopefully I'll see each and every single one of you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.